What's up, y'all? How you doing? This is your boy, Gerald. It is the 15th of January, 2014. How's your week going thus far? I know I normally do it on the weekends. However, um, you know, I just had some, I just had some insight hit me, and I wanted to convey this to you, because I realized that some of you are are struggling on some things, and you need some reassurance. So I'm here to let you know. Your assurance is here, but there's work that must be required. See, you gotta understand something. You know that one thing that you have in your spirit that you want to see come to pass? Yeah, that. Well, there's a requirement to usher that in. There must be a clearing that you must do for you to truly have that harvest. And it will not come to pass until you're willing to do the work. There's no, there, see, there's no way around it because there's only one you. So, number one, when the frustrations come your way, the delays come your way, the challenges come your way, the stifle your step, have courage, but have fortitude to, pers to, to press on, okay? Because you got to understand. As I always say, this is fear. Your blessing's on the other side, but you've got to go through that to get to it. But that cannot be done if you're not loving yourself. I know y'all saying, Charles, that's all you talk about is love. I talk about it because it's the main foundation of your life. If you don't love if you don't love yourself, you can't reciprocate it. It won't come into your life. You do understand it, right? No, there's no, there's no, no shortcuts when it comes to your harmony because you must have that template. You know, kind of like, you know, we've got regular table sugar, and we've got sugar sugar substitute. Yes, it does the job, but it's not the same. And depending on the substitute, it may be more harmful in the end. That's why you've got to, I, I, I can't stress this, y'all. Number one, stop, feel, stop uh, fueling your fears. Stop doing that. Stop with the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Don't do that. Don't you realize every time that you, 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 you speak a doubt, you make it a reality, it comes to pass and becomes one of your challenges. That's why your fortitude and courage is going to carry you through because it's directed by your higher power. I know some of you are, are like scratching your head because you're seeing everybody around you seem like they're being blessed. But I'm here to tell you on that one too. Because it looks like a blessing doesn't mean it's a blessing. There may be a price connected to that. Because if it's not pure, it won't last. But we're not in a position to judge now, are we? We're in a position to cultivate the seeds that are required for your legacy and destiny. And only you can do that. That's why you must be true to yourself. That's why you must discern at all times. That is why I have tried to convey this because I had to learn this myself. See, you could have a million and one friends. But they don't hold up to a hill of beans if one will never see your best interest. Do you hear what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're there only there as a distraction. They're only there to stifle your steps. They're only there possibly to set you up. And you've got to trust yourself. I know somebody right now is saying, well, you know what? I just want this one thing, and I, I keep missing the mark. You keep missing the mark because you fail to look at it for what it is. You need to ask yourself, is it pure? Is it worth the sacrifice? Or am I compromising myself to obtain something that I will eventually lose? Because if it's not meant for you to have, you ain't going to have it. It'll be bittersweet. That's why you need to take this... You need to make this paradigm shift and look at it and say to yourself, 
what I have intended for me will come to me in my intended time because I'm worth it. My queens, do you not realize what is being manifested around you at this time? In droves, you're seeing more and more women. They're doing this. They're doing this. They're smiling again. They're looking in the mirror and they're being proud of what was given to them from the time they took their first breath. Why? Because they realize. See, everything that's intended is going to go to the person that is looking back in the mirror. The original. The original copy. Not the carbon. Not the carbon. Or the carbon of the carbon. No. The original. That is you. So I say this to you right now because I have a feeling someone is going through this right now. My dear, my queens, no one thing that you need to do is you got to get out of your head. You're fueling the same doubts that you're fueling within your heart is the same things that are blocking your steps. And all that doing is opening up more of your boundary lines for those to compromise you. Can't do that. That's why it's that's why you don't have peace. That's why you're stressing out. Because what you're feeling is the authentic self of you. The real you is strong. The real you is at peace. The real you has harmony and balance. And what you're feeling is the derivative of the byproduct of what is not, not in place. I know some of you right now are saying, Gerald, that's all fine and dandy, but I'm alone. I desire a companion. What about that? Well, I'll tell you. See, those same things, you know how it is advised to write down the pros and cons of yourself, making a list of what you love about yourself and what you don't, or the things that you want that you, you could change, right? Okay, you know what I'm talking about, right? Well, see, those things that you wanted to change, those are the things you need to be focusing on. Because those are going to be the same things that's going to attract the one. And see, let's be honest. Some of you have the ideology of a relationship for the not relationship type. You're not ready yet. You're not there because there's still things that you have not mastered. How can you desire a commitment when you're not committed to yourself? How can you ask for respect when you're not respecting yourself? This goes for you too, my kings. You can ask, you can ask for, you can ask for the one, her, to come into your life when you ain't ready to step up to the plate. You have to be the best that you can to be authentic to self first. Because guess what? Like-minded attracts like-minded. If you've got someone that has done the work. They know self, they love self, they have boundaries, and they respect themselves, and they are consistent with their steps. And you ain't there? What y'all got to talk about? They can inspire you. They can motivate you. They can give you guidance, but you can't keep them. You can't keep them, because guess what? You, you can't walk together. There's an imbalance there. Sad but true. You know? So... You got to make that decision. Aren't you ready? Aren't you tired? Remember, you came a long way from last 2013. Think about all the stuff you went through in 13. Can't wait to see it go out, huh? But we're only in our second week of the new year. And some of you are still doubting that this is going to be your breakthrough year. I'm here to tell you it is. But each thing that you have in your mind, in your spirit, that you want to focus on, give it 100%. One at a time. Not 10, 10, 10, 10. Mm-mm. Because guess what? That's what you're going to get back in return. And you deserve so much. So, number one, you got to get out of your head. You got to. You got to and restructure your life.
You know, I know one of my biggest time, biggest uh, challenges was time management. Man, I was like this. You know, but you know, <laughs> I'm a firm believer that you know God is the greatest comedian ever because he'll allow, he'll allow you to be in certain situations so that you can have that revelation. But you still, because you have free will, have to make a choice to correct it. You know, and you know, one of as I said, one of my challenges was to be more efficient with my time. Not that I procrastinate, is the things that I want to put more more time into. You know, um, and you know, I'm back in school now, so I'm holding down a full time work schedule. I'm, you know, I'm a federal employee, but I'm also holding down a full-time college schedule, too. So you know what that means. You ain't got no time. Boy, I mean, this is only day three, and, I, and it's kicking my butt. But guess what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prevail, and I'm going to do well in my classes, too, because I've already claimed it. And in Slowly but surely, guess what? Everything that I needed for my for my education, guess what has been provided. He has moved me where I needed to be to receive what I needed to do. I even went and got a new a new printer. And guess what? Didn't even think about it, right? Didn't even think about it, but check this out. You guys you guys know <laughs> you guys know that um I told you, you know, my, my life number is eight, right? And I told you about the story of the contract with my Jeep, right? Well, what are you thinking about it? Pull the printer out of the box. Look at the manual. Look at the top of the manual. See it? Three, five is eight, and then the three, right? Eight, eight, eight. So it was meant for me synchronistically to attract that in my life because that's something I need. I'm going to be writing a gang of papers. But guess what? I have to do that so that one day I can be called Dr. Gerald Davis. That's what I got to do. I ain't looking forward to it, but guess what? That was a road that was paid by other people before me to have that title. And I'm going to do it. I've already claimed that victory. So you need to have the same thing. Some of you right now, you think, well, Gerald, that's fine. I understand that. But, you know, my battle is I want to lose weight. Okay. You want to lose You want to lose weight? You want to lose weight? First thing you got to do is look at yourself and say you love yourself. From the top of your head to your toes. Just like Jill Scott said. You gotta love this person first before you can make any modifications. But just know this. If it ain't a pure modification, there are side effects. Because anything that is done the short route have long repercussions in the end. Watch. Watch what I say. You're gonna start seeing people that have made those choices and, and you're gonna be hearing about do you have this side effect? Ash elbows and big toes. You know, you're going to have stuff like that come And people are going to like, oh, man, I did. And and they're going to be wondering why the health is the way it is. Because guess what? That higher power made you. God don't make mistakes. But he is required. He gives us the, the opportunity to perfect what we are. He gives us... You know, like I told, like I told somebody, long, um, someone very dear to me a couple of weeks ago. I had to go through a season where, I, when I was in Mushroom, where I basically lost everything, everything that I had value to me, I lost, right? And just so happened, when I'm out allowing, I'm, I'm taking Tyson out to use his, his use the bathroom, you know, it, my spirit talked to me and said, you know what? He said, Gerald, when you master yourself and master what is required, you will have what you see. And I didn't understand where that came from in my mind. But then I understood. See, 
This goes to you, my kings, right off the bat. But queens, take note. If you want a wife, you're not going to attract your wife to you until you are at that authentic place in your life. That means every stone up or unturned. You are doing everything so you can position yourself to receive. But it didn't it didn't register until you know Tyson's out there sniffing around trying to find a place to use the toilet and then it clicked. I was on the foundation of my life, right? And God's first evidence of favor was he gave me Tyson. And I had to learn to not only humble myself and give unconditional love to him. I mean, I can't even think of life would be without my big guy with me. I mean, you know, he's like the son I, ain't never, I haven't had yet. I know one day God's going to bless me with one. If this is, you know, if he, if he deems, I, I would like to have one, but that's no, you know, there. But, you know, I realized that as he's moving around and I'm trying to stay, you know, stay, you know, grounded where I'm at, you know, Tyson now is 75 pounds. He's not even a two, he's not even two. And, um, big baby though. He's just nothing but a big baby. But, I realized what was being revealed. Until I can master the relationship that I have with him. And the only way I can do that is I got to master the relationship with me first. You understand what I'm saying? So that means I got to do the work to have what I need. And each challenge and obstacle that I need to master gives me more responsibility. So in turn, you see what I'm saying? The more you the more grounded you are, the more responsible you become, you become and more responsibility will be given to you because the ultimate responsibility is bearing life next to sustaining it, having a mate, having a wife. That's why some of you may have one of your challenges was your relationship. Some of you may be married and it ain't working and y'all split up for so it's probably something very small because you haven't mastered communication needed for you both to be harmony and har be harmonized for some because of ego and pride. You know what I'm saying? But yet, you know, while you're doing this and you're doing that, you both you both are are miserable without each other. But you can't even say hello to each other. Why? Because you haven't even mastered the person you are. But that person's in your life. Because let me tell you something. I'm a firm believer of this, y'all. God knows the name of your mate, the one. They do. I mean, he does. Forget, and he's sitting here right there like, okay, I'm watching. Okay. Oh, he did. He, he got it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to check that off. All right. And he's watching. And when he's not watching, he's got his angels, the spirit guides around you. Sometimes they're there to protect you from those who only, that don't have their best interests. That's why your discernment might be going off like Spider-Man with that little ting, like, this don't feel right, because it ain't. It ain't. And your discernment will never lead you wrong. So embrace that. But the point I'm trying to get is this. If you envision where you wish to be, you envision what you wish to have. Envision what it takes to obtain it. If it's not pure, it won't last. It won't. No matter how you try to sway it, how you may try to manipulate it, how you may try to control it, guess what? You ain't going to hold on to it. And actually, you're going to feel more frustrated in trying to do that than it coming to you naturally. Because you got to understand, everything that is meant for you to have will, walk, will be there. Even the people that, that, that truly love you, will have your best interests. But, 
if you're on the other side of the fence and you have an assortment of things that you're going through that seem to be being removed from you, breaking down on you, or even leaving your side. This is what I want you to do. You ask your high power for strength, clarity, and understanding. And everything that may have caused a question mark in your spirit will be validated at the right time. That's why prayer is what it is. You're manifesting the things you wish to attract in your life. But he only gives to those that are worthy. And I know you're saying right now, well, Gerald, I know somebody right now, they foul. And they, it seems like they always, they always get ahead. Number one, the lesson you need to learn about that is stop judging people. Number two, then those experiences may be motivations to get that person to that one point that the ultimate lesson that they have to embrace is they're waiting on them. But guess what? That's their walk and you have yours. So, you're going to be fine. Some of you don't even realize, my queens, you're going beyond the call of duty. You are. <laughs> you are. You, you're going beyond. You, you know, I'm, I'm telling you. I can say this right now. Somebody right now, a couple of you, you're going to meet your husband this summer. But only if you've really done the work. And, and trust me when I tell you this. You're going to know. You're going to be no, it ain't going to be like how before, where he was like, yeah, he, he's attractive. I'm attracted to him physically, but, or he's work. No, 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 no. You're going to know. It's going to feel like a hand to a glove. Even to the point, you may finish each other's sentences. Don't get scared of that. This is God working. But guess what? Remember that seed that was planted in the soil. There's a period of cultivation it must go through of maturity before that first petal can be seen by the naked eye. You're that flower. So stop rushing yourself. Stop. Because I believe you're worth the waiting. So that means you got to do the work. <coughs> well, y'all, I ain't going to do this. I got to go. But I want to put this out because I know somebody needed it. So, I know it's hump day. <laughs> you guys, remember, there's only one you. There's only one. So, represent. Represent. Trust your higher power. And he's got you. He's going to protect you. Discern. Go with your spirit. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. It ain't. Love yourself first. And if you do that, it just sets up all the events for that thing called blessing for you to finally have. <coughs> oh, see? Look at that. What's this? If this ain't no synchronicity, and see, that's what you're telling yourself the old you. Because the new you got some light to live. And this world keeps on turning. And it's going to keep turning as long as you keep smiling and loving yourself. Let's just be glad. We have this time. So you're reflecting right now. 
You're looking at where you've been, and you look at where you're at now. No, because that's where inside is. You've grown. So, when you gonna start loving yourself and doing the work, huh? It's time now. Cause you, I mean, look at it like this. The sooner you start, the sooner you finish. You understand? The sooner you start, the sooner you finish. And guess what? Your rewards on the end. I know it is your blessing. So, come on now. Come on now, queens, you need to stop, you need to, you know, you need to get out of your head. You know, God's telling me to tell you, when are you going to let that inner beauty be your outer beauty? You know, some of you are like frustrated, like, I don't know what to do with my hair. Do your hair. Do yours. Oh, and, and here's something I know, ladies, you don't realize. If you haven't realized that you have a lot of a lot of men that are not checking, they want natural, which they should have always been, because there's only one you. So, what separates you from the masses? Hmm? I think it's your spirit. I think it's your smile. And I think it's your step, is your steps. So get out of your head, invest in you, and embrace this beautiful year that you got, just waiting for you to discover. You'll be fine. You got your angels around you. You'll be fine. All right, I got a roll. So I hope you guys have a blessed. <laughs> this is Wednesday, but I hope the week goes by smooth for you. Okay. I would love to hear from you if you guys want to reach out. You know where to find me. So as I always say, God is praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth because I discern it with mine. Stay blessed, y'all. Bye.